close. You only need two too close though. Like that. Way too close. All right, here we go. All right, what is your name and your like position here? My name is Chris Reichert, and uh, I am the president of Green Solar Transportation. About a year and a half ago, we were contacted by some people in the Ministry of Health Science and Technology of Panama. And what they wanted to do is give the people in the mountains electricity, which they did not have previously. The project in reality will change in the difference that it was used guaricha or lamparas of kerosene o guaricha de lo, con batería que no dura mucho tiempo a que si tenemos un panel solar por lo menos eso va a facilitar a que el personal de salud el médico, la enfermera puede atender en horas de la noche cualquier urgencia médica que se presente en el área ejemplo partos que reciban un parto pueden con la luz y no tienen ningún tipo de problema que tengan que hacerlo con con mechón, guaricha o lo que sea de querosín, sino que hay luz y pueden utilizarlo con eso. Y además se puede eh, manejar algún otro equipo con este tipo de panel solar. Y eso va en beneficio tanto del personal de salud como en beneficio de la población que va a recibir ese apoyo. The toughest part about it is, is, is logistics. I mean, the issue is, it's operations, really. It's getting the products to the locations, getting the people to these remote locations. And on top of that, we have to make sure that we don't forget anything. If we forget anything, there's no hardware store that we can run to within five minutes, but um, we got a really good group of guys. Ledger Kellier. Gary Bauer. Ralph Schwann. Clifford Nepper. Neil Thompson. John Edwards. Chris Clark. Francisco Jose Zangerolami. But they call me Z. It. Battery box here, and then we'll probably run the wires. If you can see, there's a gap in between the roof and the, uh, the walls. This will run into there, and then we'll power off. Walk inside and show you guys the the freezers, the lights, the the fans, and everything we've got to do. So. A few years ago somebody showed up to install panels previously and they did, they installed an entire two solar arrays but what ended up happening is somebody actually stole one of the panels so they broke the string and now the, nothing worked so there was no electricity to the actual building and they've never actually had anything working. So what we're installing now is basically panels that they can't steal. The container has now just arrived. The truck was supposed to be here April 1st at like 5 a.m. It got moved today, it was supposed to be here today at 3, showed up today at 6. The plan from here is we're going to be there tomorrow morning at about 5.30 a.m., get started, hopefully get the entire project done in now a day and a half instead of a week, which is what we had planned, and make it out on our flight on time to go back to uh, Florida. Currently unloading all the gear. We got a bunch of metal we're gonna put on the roof, basically build a new roof on this structure, and then on top of that put our solar panels. We just got the sheet metal on the roof. 
Uh, Gary's measuring out everything. It's pretty wet. It's also mossy. Yeah, it's mossy, it so it's a little slippery, a little dangerous. We're waiting for the other side to dry up so that we can start working. boxes, filled up with the batteries. These batteries are going to form the basis of what we need to do. So we're going to be charging these batteries and these batteries then are going to convert from DC power into AC power, which we'll be using to power the hospital. Ah! They have 200 pounds and they're a bit excessive in weight, but it's a good exercise. We bought a whole bunch of soccer balls to give out to the, the, the children right here most sports and stuff like that, why not? Back to the job site, um, try to get there before the rain, get the rest of the panels on the roof, and then we can uh, hopefully get out of here. Cleaning the surface with some alcohol so that uh, the panel, there's no dust or anything, and it adheres without a flaw like the rest here. Ensures that it won't come up. Ever. The next step is actually just bringing uh, bringing the power to it and giving these people electricity. This is the distribution panel. This is where all the branch circuits come out and feed all the fans, receptacles, and all their equipment. Lights, you know, ev everything that they're going to be using off of the solar panel. The solar panel is generally just basically trying to make this work. Alright, what we're doing is this ledger. This guy. Ledger's setting right. up the system, right. Cliff and Dale yeah, are making yeah. sure that everything's setting up. Ah! Yes! Yay! That's what's happening right now. That's that's what's happening right now. <laughs> nice. Alright. Turn on turn on them fans. Yes! We're gonna be long enough. I reach that one. This is what it was about. It was about, you know, giving them electricity completely from the hospital, which is awesome. That's actually yeah. a success. Great job everybody. Thank you. Guys doing well, I know. I'm, this is a huge step. So we're back today. Do final touch-ups. Make sure everything's 100%. We tested the system last night. It works perfectly. Don't want to commission a solar system at night. Kind of doesn't make sense. And then we're uh, we're all set. This place will be buttoned up. <laughs> Panel projects differ from anything I've ever done, ever in, in solar. Benefit is, um, I, you know, I've always wanted to do work that I feel good about. When you give somebody the ability to have lights or something like electricity that they've never even had before, it definitely takes it to another level. It's way more rewarding than, than anything I've ever been involved with in my entire life, absolutely. Queremos darle las gracias sobre todo a Green Solar por este aporte que está haciendo a esta comunidad, a esta instalación, a la comarca Nuevo Burle, ya que realmente el sistema que nosotros teníamos anteriormente ya estaba prácticamente obsoleto. Eh, gracias a ustedes, bueno, vamos a contar con un nuevo sistema solar a cada uno de ustedes. Gracias.